I'll take you through one question which I have seen in 2018 paper and today will be discussed today discussion will be based upon that only I'll get into first theory then we'll solve this problem okay and while theory I'll, I want you to make a note on your book saying that probability of dices so this entire topic is about how to find the probability of dices so if I ask you saw about something about dices I hope all of you will be aware that it is a cube so let me just have a quick understanding about it how many sides a cube have since a regular cube have uh, it's a square something like this in figure so it will have six sides and each sides will have a number or a digit written on that and the range of the digit will start from one and it will go till six so the all the uh, numbers which can be displayed on the dice will be one two three four five and six and whenever we talk about probability we always talk a dice like this which have this one two three four five six uh, digits uh, inscribed on this we call this kind of a dice as a fair dice we call this kind of a dice as a fair dice and we always talk about this fair dice in terms of your uh, probability the second point is that whenever we talk about a probability and dices you always talk about a fair dice which have equally liked event it is an equally liked event. What is the meaning of equally liked event? Whenever we say that equally liked event, it means that the chances of coming one or two or three or four or five or six, all of them are same. So whenever we talk about equally liked event, the chances of coming all these numbers are same. Chances of coming all these numbers are same. So these two things I want you to understand before I get into the problem. Right? Now, whenever we talk about uh, probability, the first thing which I want you people to understand that probability is nothing but a kind of a fraction which has something on numerator which have something on denominator. You have to remember only this much. I call let's say A on the numerator and let's call B on the denominator. And when I understand the meaning of A, A is nothing but, A is nothing but, it is the things which is asked in question. Things which is asked in question. Now what do you mean to say sir? You might have learned a different definition. I am not saying that that is wrong definition. This is how I practically use it. And this is what helped me to understand probability better. Things which is asked in question. Now, what do you mean to say by this, sir, the things which is asked in question? I hope all of you can see that. Uh, in this question, what do I want? I want the sum of multiple of four or five. So I'll find the number of ways. I'll find the number of ways of obtaining the things which is asked in question and that will be writing in place of a that will be writing in place of a and whenever we talk about b b will be nothing but number of ways all possible outcome all possible outcome is that point is clear what next whenever we talk about one dice whenever i talk about one dice one dice one dice will have how many outcome so the six possible outcome either one will come two will come three will come four will come five will come six will come outcome means what all things will come out when i'll throw a dice so there will be six dices possible as six six ways i can obtain one outcome that's what i mean to say so whenever we talk about two dices one dice and one more dice so whenever we talk about two dices it means that it is one dice and one more dice so I hope everyone understood that one dice will give six outcome, another dice will give how many outcome, another six outcome. And what is the meaning of and? Do you remember I have told you the meaning of and in one of the classes? And means multiply. And this will be equal to 36. This will be equal to 36. So instead of one, two, three, four, if I talk about n dices, if I talk about n dices, can you say that in terms of n dices, six will be multiplied n times. Six will be multiplied n times. One one dices means six multiply one time two dices means six will multiply two times by itself n dices means six will multiply n times and i hope you can say that six uh, can be written as six power one also 36 can be written as six square also write it as six rest power n I, I'll, I'll write it as six rest power n if this is clear to all my people what i'll do is that i'll get into this theory i'll get into this theory see whenever i'm getting about the one dice the sum will be also the same number will be also the same but whenever i'm talking about two dices the number which appear on each dices can sum up and the question can possible the way it is being asked on the screen the way it is, has been asked on the screen 
So what I'll do is that I'll get into the discussion of how to obtain a sum of two dices. Now understand this summation has nothing to do with your probability concept. Summation is something a different concept which you need to understand in order to solve the problem. So what I'll do is that I will take you through how to find the summation of two dices in a faster way. How to find the summation of two dices in a faster way. In order to find summation, I hope you understand that there are two dices required. Let's say I have dice one and I have dice two. Then this dice one and dice two will give some sum. What is the sum it will give that we'll see later. Followed by this, I'll calculate how many ways or the number of ways of getting that sum. Number of ways of getting or obtaining this sum. Whenever I throw two dices, what could be the minimum sum possible? It is two, sir. And what is the maximum sum possible? Maximum sum possible is 12. Minimum sum is two and maximum sum is 12. So I have a finite range of number which will can obtain as a sum of the digit obtained on the two dices. So let me write all of them. After two, we have three, then we have four, then we have eight. Followed by this, we have nine. Then we have 10 and finally we have 11 and the last number is 12. So whenever we talk about this, the next question will come to my mind or your mind also that sir, in how many ways, in how many ways I can obtain the sum two? The question is that I want to obtain sum is equal to two. How can I do that? Then you have to go back into the um, mode of your understanding. In order to get two, one number which come on dice one and another number which come on dice two has to be one and one only. This is the only way of getting it off. So can you say that the number of ways of getting two as a sum is only one in only one way I can get the sum is equal to two is that point is clear and how many ways I can get the sum is equal to three now next person coming to your mind it can be obtained one year two year or two year one year so how many ways we can do that we can get to it in two ways so similarly if I go about four I hope you can answer this question also in how many ways I can get four four can be obtained in one three three one as well as one more method that is two and two two and two so i hope this will be obtained in three ways and the moment will go down the moment will go down i hope you are able to understand one logic which is getting built here i hope everyone can see that logic which is getting built here can you see that two will be obtained in one way three will be obtained in two ways four will be obtained in three ways so without doing this this part of analysis without doing this part of analysis it will be in four ways similarly is it five ways? Yes. Seven. Perfect. Perfect. This is eight. This is nine. And this is 10. And this is 11, right? Now I want you to go back and go back to drawing board and tell me that in how you can get 12 in 11 ways. Give me 11 ways of obtaining. Give me 11 ways of obtaining uh, 12 as a sum of two number which appears on the dices. I just want to understand that from you that's only six and six so i think we have made a mistake while writing the digits we have made a mistake while writing the digits. this is only six and six so this is not 11 this will not be 10 this will not be nine this will not be eight this will not be seven so the moment you'll get the six this is the peak remember this is the peak after this the things will not increase after this the things will not increase after this it start decreasing so you'll write here five, you'll write here four, you'll write here three, you'll write here two, and you'll write here one. So if you understand this peak, it goes something like this on the top, it comes down something like this below, and there will be something which is common, like 12 and two will be obtained only in one way. 12 and two will be obtained only in one way. Is that point is clear to all of you? So whenever we talk about two or we talk about 12, both of them will be obtained in one way. Followed by this, we have something called as three, as well as 11 which can be obtained in 3 as well as 11 which can be obtained in how many ways it will be obtained in two ways goes after this is 4 and 10 4 and 10 will be done in three ways next one is nothing but 5 and 9 which will be done in four ways followed by next one 6 and 8 which will be done in five ways the next one will be possible is that no, nothing is possible. Next one. The only thing which is left out is that 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 7 is left out. 7 will be done in 6 ways. So now I'm not dependent upon this box. This box is just to tell me that this is how the uh, pattern getting followed here. So what I'll do is that I'll remove this one from the screen and I'll get into the problem solving. Then how many dices are thrown? How many dices are thrown? Two dices are thrown. What is the question being asked? I need to find the probability. I need to find the probability that is A by B. How many dices are thrown? 
two dice are thrown, sir. Whenever two dice are thrown, what will be the value of B? What will the value of B? 36. So this will be 36 perfectly. Now, what do I want in the A? A should be sum as a multiple of four and five. Which all number will be multiple of four and five? Which all number will be multiple of four and five? It will be four, it will be eight, it will be 12, or it will be five, it will be 10, right? These are the only number which are multiple of four and five, which is possible as a sum, which is possible as a sum, right? Which is possible as a sum. So now use this one off and tell me quickly, quickly tell me four will be obtained in how many ways? Four. Eight will obtain in how many ways? Five. Twelve will obtain in how many ways? One. Are you able to understand? Similarly, ten will obtain in how many ways? In how many ways ten will be there? Three. So what else is there? Five in how many ways five will be there five will be there in four ways So if if we talk about all of them either four or eight or twelve or this So our logic means add everything else add everything else that is equal to three plus five plus one plus four plus three So if you add everything else, it will become four plus four eight plus five 13 plus 3 16, right? So this will be 16 and if you cancel it off 4 by 9 answer is equal to 4 by 9 now, if you've seen my training, I have not worried about the answer. I'm not worried about the question. I took a lot of time. But now can I say that tomorrow any question which will asked on some any question which will be asked on some whether my people can answer it within fraction of second. If I know this triangle also, it would have taken 30 seconds for me to answer this and TCS gives two minutes. So one and a half minute which I'm saving from here because of the shortcut, we can use it in other question, other puzzle kind of problem, which we don't know. So let me go into the next part of the dice is the dice problem. What else can be asked in terms of dice problem? They may ask you getting product as even number. Let me tell you how to solve this. So I hope you understood that I'm talking about the two dices, hence two digit will be appeared. Digit one and digit two. And this two digit will be multiplied together and have to make a decision that it is an even number. It is a even number that is a decision we have to make and let me tell you this is nothing to do with your probability if you're not able to solve this problem it does not mean that you don't know probability it does not mean that you does not know probability it means that you don't know how to understand the product of two number as a even number that is all if you know this you can definitely solve the problem and get the answer by yourself let me tell you how let me tell you how see this guys all of you see this Whenever we want to multiply any two number of your life, 2 into 5, that is equal to 10. 3 into 5, which is equal to 15. It's 2 into 3, that is 6. Perfect. 4 into 5, it is 20. And I think I'm, I'm pretty much here. Could you please analyze this multiplication and tell me when I'm getting product as even number? When I'm getting product as even number? When 1 is even, then you'll get it as even number. Or to be uh, to be very precise, if at least one is even, means any one of them is even, or minimum one of them is even, then you'll always get even. So let me talk about the combination of the numbers together. In the entire number system, if we broadly divide, we have something called as even number and odd number. We have something called as even number and odd number. And whenever we try to understand this analogy here, there will be only four possibility here that an even number multiplies with the even number. A even number multiplies with the odd number, a odd number multiplies with the even number, or finally, odd number multiplies with the odd number. Whenever we have a cases of uh, even and odd, and we have only two number, so can we have anything more than this? I will say no. These are the only four possibility. These are the only four possibility, right? So now, what will be the uh, what will be the outcome when a even number multiplies with another even number? What is the outcome here? You obtain a even number. What will be the outcome in terms of the second cases? Second case, what will the outcome? Even second case will uh, produce me even number only. What is the outcome in the third case? Again, even number, sir. Why are you are irritating us like this? No, I'm not irritating. I just want you to be with me. I hope every one of you are doing this calculation by yourself. Perfect. And then answer the last question. When two odd number are multiplied, what do you obtain? What do you obtain? To obtain an odd number. So this is the total event. This is the total event in terms of product. This is the total event in terms of product. Can I say that 
total event in terms of total outcome here is 1, 2, 3, 4. Total outcome here is 1, 2, 3, 4. How many ways you got the product as even number? How many ways you got the product of is a even number? Your answer is 3 by 4. Your answer is 3 by 4.